The 3M22 Zircon also spelled as 3M22 Zircon, NATO reporting name, SSN-33, is a scramjet-powered maneuvering anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile currently in testing by Russia. The missile represents a further development of the HeLa, hypersonic experimental flying vehicle, developed by NPO Mashinostroinia that was on display at the 1995 MAX Air Show. Prototypes were test-launched from a 222M3 bomber in 2012-2013. Launches from a ground-based platform followed in 2015, with first success achieved in 2016. In April 2017, it was reported Zircon had reached a speed of Mach 8, 6,090 miles per hour, 9,800 kilometers per hour, 2,722.3 meters per second, during a flight test. Zircon was again test fired on June 3, 2017, almost a year earlier than had been announced by Russian officials. In November 2017, Colonel General Viktor Bondarev stated that the missile was already in service. Another flight test reportedly occurred on December 10, 2018, during which the missile demonstrated that it could attain a speed of Mach 8. On February 20, 2019, Russian President Vladimir Putin stated the missile is capable of accelerating up to Mach 9 and destroying both sea and land targets within 620 miles. By the year's end, on December 24, 2019, Putin stated that Zircon's land-based version was in development. According to the Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Navy Nikolai Yevminov, as of January 2020, Zircon was still in testing phase and despite the overall positive evaluation of the test program, still suffered from the childhood diseases, Russian idiom meaning teething problems. Modernized frigates are expected to be the first platform to receive the hypersonic missile. And the tests are to be continued in parallel with the Navy's armament with the caliber cruise missile. Yevminov further stated Zircon is expected to enter service in the coming years. In early January 2020, Zircon was first test launched from the frigate Admiral Gorshkov in the Barents Sea, and successfully hit a ground target in the northern Urals, exceeding the distance of 350 miles. On October 7, 2020, the Russian Chief of General Staff, Valery Gerasimov, stated a Zircon was launched from Admiral Gorshkov in the White Sea and successfully hit a sea target in the Barents Sea 280 miles away, reportedly reaching a speed of more than Mach 8 and altitude of 17 miles. On November 26, 2020, the Russian Defense Ministry announced the successful test of a missile launched from Admiral Gorshkov in the White Sea, hitting a naval target 280 miles away in the Barents Sea. On December 11, 2020, the Russian Defense Ministry announced the successful test of a missile launched from Admiral Gorshkov in the White Sea, hitting a ground target 250 miles away in the Astrakhan region. The missile's range is estimated to be 155 to 311 miles, 250 to 500 kilometers at low level, and up to 460 miles, 740 kilometers in a semi-ballistic trajectory. Average range is around 400 to 450 kilometers, 250 to 280 miles. According to Russian media, the longest possible range is 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers and for this purpose a new fuel was created. In the 2020 test, Ministry of Defense of the Russia claimed the missile's range is estimated to 2,000 kilometers. Zircon can travel at a speed of Mach 8 Mach 9, up to 6,851 miles per hour, 11,025 kilometers per hour. This has led to concerns that it could penetrate existing naval defense systems. Zircon exchanges information in flight and can be controlled by commands if necessary. Zircon will be first deployed with the Kirov-class battlecruisers Admiral Nikimov and Pyotr Veliki after 2020. The ships will have their P-700 Granite anti-ship missiles replaced with the 3S-14 Universal VLS cells capable of carrying the Onyx, Caliber and Zircon anti-ship cruise missiles, each vessel is to be equipped with 72 such missiles. After completion of their refit, the ships could carry 40 to 80 anti-ship cruise missiles of different types. Other platforms are likely to include Russian Navy's Admiral Grigorovich class and Admiral Gorshkov class frigates, as well as Gremyashi class, Buyan class and Karakurt class corvettes, mainly due to the installation of the compatible 3S-14 vertical launchers. There are certain design similarities between Zircon and Brahmos II, which have been noted by experts. Some experts have also postulated that the BrahMos-2 might be an export version of the Zircon missile. A version for export should have its range limited under 300 kilometers, 180 miles, in compliance with the MTCR, 
or up to 400 kilometers, 250 miles.